Hello, welcome to my channel, The Office Guys Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you another resume design. I have already two videos. In case you haven't watched them, please go and watch. They're really helping people. Now, this time, several viewers asked me to give me a one-page resume. So, I'm back with that tutorial. So, here on the screen, you can see we have a nice and clean resume design of one page maybe good for a you know uh, one or two experience year old guy may not be good for you know for an academician who has several publications several patents but if you are looking for an industrial job i feel this is the best example of a resume design so the key elements here we have is we have you know a page of a four size we have a separate section over here which discuss about key strength other skills personal information and a declaration which may or may not be required in your case so there is no mean of adding that you know but some people are very you know my this client was particularly insisting me to give me a declaration statement but i told it's not required anyway it's up to you okay so first of all let's open a powerpoint so let me just type in powerpoint all right so let's take a blank document and uh, just let me clean up few things okay so this is how you get the powerpoint on screen so first thing first we have to bring it down to a correct page so come to the design tab slide size custom slide size instead of wide screen you change it to a4 size which is the most you know available widely used paper size and make sure that you change it to a portrait we don't want it to be on a wider side we want it to be at all so click OK. Choose any option. It's not a problem. All right. So next we are going to take it the next change the layout to a blank layout. All right. So first we need to create some margins because we want our text to be aligned properly. It should not be, you know, something is placed here. Something is placed on the other side. So we will create that first. So take a rectangle, draw it, come to the shape format option, change it to 0.5 just type in which means inch and 0.5 inch all right come to shape outline just give it an outline now you can just keep and drag it here and same way you can just keep and drag it here now right click grid and guides click add vertical guide once again add vertical guidelines so two vertical two horizontal all right here we go now the bottom one we will attach with this the top one we will attach with this the side one we will attach with this and the one goes all right so now we can delete these boxes next we are going to create this blue section over here so take a rectangle stretch it from any other side you know any side just put it this way and on the top all right so how much width to be taken now this question shall i keep it here shall i keep it here how much usually as a thumb rule i prefer to have one third of the page covered by uh, you know the, this blue section so what i usually do is i usually stretch it to the end take a note of the width so it is totally 19.05 what i'm going to do is next i'm just going to run open the calculator 19.05 divided by 3 which means one third which comes to be around 3 point sorry 6.35 all right so just select this make sure that you change it to 6.35 and you just keep it here just i add usually extra 10 20 percent so i usually roughly go with 6.7 that's my one of the key value okay all right so make sure that you keep the shape outline as no now talking about the color of this I go on the Google and type blue UI examples. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I usually type blue color scheme. Now, why why blue? Because I mostly prefer to have my resume in blue color. That looks more professional. If you use green, yellow, pink, red, nothing looks good. Make sure your resume either it should be black and white or gray, or it should be blue come to images all right all right okay so we have so many options here let me go with this one so i'm just going to create print screen 
take this as a reference and paste it over here so now this is going to work for me in the entire duration i'm going to design a resume now select this box over here come to the shape fill option eye dropper and i'll go most likely with the second color this looks good to me okay good we are going good now next is the text so first of all we start with the name of the candidate which in your case maybe you or maybe your client by the way this powerpoint slide is available to download on my gumroad page the link is given in the description box you can just go and check it out but i will highly recommend that you should practice this your own so that it will be easy so even though you download it from the gumroad page it will be still easier for you to manipulate the things all right so let's take up a text box make sure the text box that you're taking go to the format shape and you make everything as zero and then start typing something okay so let me go with my so jitender sure us here all right so this is my name i'm going to increase the font size a bit somewhere around 2024 looks good Uh, let me reduce the size it's grabbing my attention unnecessarily okay so now if you see the feeling of the text doesn't appeal good as of now so what i usually do is i install a custom font in my library so for this resume i have used this font called space grotesque okay here is the font i'm going to highlight my first name and also i'm going to change the color to match the theme So this is how my name looks like now. Okay? And also I want to make sure, oops, control A to select all the text and make it upper case and just stretch it somewhere here. So this is how my name looks like now. All right? I'm thinking it's a little bigger, so I'll just make it around 20. Next thing is I usually like to prefer my designation, which could be my current designation. So I'll keep here and for this I will not go with the black text i'll go with slightly off black it looks good actually all right so no bold font size to be smaller to be around 12 12 seems good and then i can type let's say i have another affiliation but i don't want to mention it here i work all right so I'll just zoom in take it a little bit up okay so looks good next thing now you can see we have couple of icons over here and we have some mobile number and email so sounds good so go to insert tab come to the icons you know i have icons access over here in microsoft office because i am a microsoft 365 subscriber in case you don't have i'm going to tell you don't worry so i'm going to type here phone and i'll be using this icon and then i'm going to type email and i'm going to take this icon click insert bring them over here now the graphic size i usually go with 0.5 cm so i'm going to keep it here and the next one i'm going to keep here now this one i'm going to control and drag and type the number so i'm from india plus 91 9988776655 and reduce the size a bit you know around 10 keep it over here just reduce the size okay i'll move this guy here maybe a little bit uh, one more step make sure you zoom in okay select both of them make make sure that you align them properly so align to middle in a similar way select all of these so maybe i'll just copy this before i do so select all of these shape or graphic format and then you click align middle so everything is align middle correctly just move it here and now i'm going to type my email so jitender.chaurasia@gmail.com Next thing is we will go a little faster because you know otherwise people will start get bored i don't want to make it boring so just over that i'll take this control and drag always remember make it bold and make it upper case and you can write profile overview 
and then control and drag so i'm just kind of creating a basic you know i this is how i usually work first of all i'll create the entire resume what all i need create some dummy spaces later i'll keep on adjusting them okay this one i'll go with 10 size with no bold and slightly off color slightly off color not too much and then what i'm going to do is i'll just copy from here copy paste okay don't worry you have some text over here because we are copying from a pdf all right make sure you just justify it looks good similar way you can do that for others so i'm going to write it work uh, work experience so all caps qualification uh, let me just correct qualification here what i usually do is i'll keep it you know a smaller one like like you know somewhere around 3.5 on this side and then i'll keep on a little bit distance and stretch it to when it aligns to be the other text so here i'm going to make it right text and i'm going to type let's say i worked as a manager all right so you can make it bold and slightly darker color and take one box down reduce its size remove the blog you know uh, the bold and you can write 2017 to 2022 I mean, it can be anything and then what you're gonna do is just any text any text what i'm going to do is just i'm removing this all right so similar way you can have multiple you know experiences that you can you can change accordingly you have a good uh, you know manager of r and d okay and you can write sales executive i mean it depends upon you how you how, how you take forward all right so this 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 section i think you all are clear how i've done you know you can add a couple of bullet points and i don't think adding a bullet point it's so big a game you can just type in something okay i'm just typing so you just take it forward now come to the coming to the point how to add these lines in text it's very easy guys so let's take this up on this side with a good amount of space and let's zoom in reduce its length to make match the you know the the grid lines we have drawn change its font to white color and just write over here key strength all right so we got the key strength with us now what i am going to do is there are few ways now you can have multiple text box but how i would like to do is i would like to take table and then play with this text so let's do it real quick come to the insert option and then table and let's say you have four key strengths so take it few things we have to going to change let's say strength one strength one strength two three and four i'm just writing strength so you have to write your strength all right okay so i'm going to adjust it here and here bring it in the top first thing first let's clear a few things i don't want bended rows i don't want header rows this is the first thing you have to do change the font color to white come to the table design shading given no fill we are getting closer but now we have to adjust a few things i don't want the borders to be on this side on this side not on the top other than the bottom then what you have to do is just select first click no border now you can choose i want inside border and make sure the pen color is set to white or slightly off blue you know like this and then click inside and you are at the bottom as well so like this you will get make sure that you don't forget to change the font which we're using space cross tech in case you don't know how to install this font i have a separate video i will pin it on the i button on the top all right so i'm going to change it to a font called space okay i don't want it to be bold size to be somewhere around 11 and then you can increase the height sorry decrease the height accordingly 
so like this you get all the five strings next thing is you can see this text starts from little off so right click format shape we could find some option over here make sure everything is set to zero now you can see the text is going above the line so we have to correct that as well select the table and make sure your text is on the line or on the mid of the line so this is how you can have to play around now for the next strengths you can just simply drag this okay and then you can add whatever you want so guys rest is the repetition and the improvements you make to the resume so i hope you like this tutorial and if you do please consider subscribing to my channel watch this video repractice it or if you are able to do something rewatch the video or go back to my gumroad page you can download this template by paying just a very small amount so with this i thank you for reaching this far we'll catch up in the next video till the time stay tuned